Hello and welcome everyone to our Mechanzo video series. Today we are going to talk about the wheel. A wheel is a circular object that rotates around a central point called an axle. It helps objects move smoothly and easily across surfaces by reducing friction. So, you must have seen wheels in a lot of places in your real life as well. For example, wheels in a car, wheels in a trolley, wheels in a motorcycle, wheel in an Activa. So, basically wheel helps us go from one place to another easily. Right? So, uh, I'm sure you must have seen a real life picture of a wheel. So, a wheel is round, flat, things that can spin, it can, uh, it's a like circle that can turn around. Right? So, moving on, we have, imagine if you are pushing a heavy box. So, if you push or pull a heavy box along the ground, it is very, very difficult for you. It requires a lot of force. But, if you use four wheels in with the help of a box and these four wheels are attached to an axle right so it becomes much 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 easier for you to push or pull the box so wheel is also a kind of a machine the combination of wheel and axle that makes our work easier so this is the same challenge for you and that is that you have to take a box and attach pairs of wheels and axles to the box and then move it and then you can actually feel that using a wheel makes your work easier right so here is the solution so imagine you are in a car with your uh, imagine you are in a race with your toy cars you have two toy cars car a and b you want to see which car can roll the farthest distance you are going to give them a both a push and let them go so see which car goes farther and then try to think about the reasons that why did car a or b go farther than the other car try to think of some reasons right so and please let us know in the comment section so in conclusion i would like to say that the topic introduces wheels as circular objects rotating around axles fa facilitating smooth movement with uh, reduce friction they are integral components of vehicles such as cars bicycles and wagons i'm sure you understood today's video and it was a learning curve for you so i hope you learned something new out of this video and at the end i would just like to say that keep moving forward and try to learn something new every day thank you so much for watching